Well, uh, I used to be a bank robber and I served some time in prison and uh, yes, sir. My dad thinks I'm here to scream. I'm debt free for my school loan debt. That was actually the first time I became debt free. I'm actually here to tell my dad that I have paid off my mortgage. Wow, look at that. <laughs> it was a Saturday night, four days before Christmas when the house burned. It's devastating. We felt like we lost everything when our house burned down. The last thing I paid off was the restitution that was actually just Friday down in the courthouse in uh, downtown Dallas at the federal building down there. I, I don't want to exaggerate, but to say that it's the same as the day that I got out of prison is how I felt when I got in the button and I pushed one on the elevator to get out of that place and I was done. And that was it, man. My past was in the past and I didn't know anybody anymore. I and that was it. the end of it. I love it. Being debt free has allowed me to relax. It's allowed me to unplug from my work and allowed me to travel the world. Yeah, there's not any stopping you. Yeah, you've got you've got plans for money. Money's gonna be a tool in your hands your whole life. Staying dedicated and disciplined and giving up leisurely activities for a short term is a thousand percent worth the experience and the feelings that come with it. I went and got a shovel and was looking through some just different areas of the house and and I found a, a little piece of my son Memphis' baby book and the footprints were still there. And it, it, things just began to get beautiful. People would just come and bless us. It was amazing. We got things that were beautiful because that's what the Lord wanted for us at that moment. But we had lived in disaster even before the fire. I can give money to some other family that has a fire. We always gave whenever the Lord led, but now we can give when the Lord leads or when we just feel like it. Count it down. Let's hear a great debt-free scream. Three, two, one, I'm debt 